channel so today we're going to be talking about how to wash and condition your hair to get this smooth silk feeling back into all your wigs and all your units but before we go any further guys if you haven't already subscribed to my channel click the link down below please and subscribe to my channel also you can follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter using the name chrissy bells and chrissy bells one for my snapchat i love you guys so much keep watching this week i'm wearing was made by me it's from my new collection it was customized and hand sewn by me so um, i used for it is from st Clair's. i'll leave their information as well down below it's 22 inches times four and an 18 inch customized silk closure i actually love the finishing of this wig i love you guys so much keep watching let's begin so today we are going to be washing this amazing frame from my new collection the first thing you do is to make sure you comb it out to brush out everything that's supposed to be on the hair any knots or anything brush it all out obviously there's none on my hair so it's really really smooth but as you can see my hair looks a bit greasy you know you should actually wash your hair at least once a week okay the first thing you do is to make sure that you rinse the sink once that is done dampen the hair with warm water for today i'll be using the l'oreal fibrology i love i love this shampoo for the first wash it's very important to use and loads of shampoo as the hair does not lather very well to begin with due to the fact there's so much product onto the hair so gently massage the shampoo into the hair it's also very important to retain the shape of the wig if you can but really really do try to retain the shape of the wig also if there's a pattern in your hair make sure you also retain the pattern as you can see me doing in the video continue the process of massaging the shampoo into the wig ensuring you reach all of the hair for a deep deep cleanse rinse out the hair and repeat this step two more times doing the exact same thing all over again remember guys it's really really important to wash your wigs at least once a week due to the buildup of product on it it restricts the hair from moving how it actually should be moving like the flow of the hair ensure you restart the shampoo properly by making sure you run water over and over the wig a couple of times now towel dry the hair using your hair towel don't be too harsh just gently towel dry the hair once that is done we're going to move over to conditioning the hair now we're going to use one of my favorite products that's the l'oreal fibrology conditioner i love this product now apply a very generous amount of conditioner throughout the hair making sure you've reached all the hair on the wig like be very generous with the conditioner you know don't don't hesitate to apply more and more to it it makes it's gonna make it super soft so why not once you've finished applying the conditioner onto the hair remember using a wide tooth comb comb it through starting from the tip to the root this is a very essential part of this conditioning process because it helps with detangling the hair. I'm going to use a clean film to wrap the conditioned hair. I like doing this because I feel like it helps it retain the moisture of the hair. Remember to retain the shape of the wig throughout this whole process. Like it's very important to retain the shape. Now use foil to go over the clean film and what this does is to enable you to steam your wig once you've done this place the wig right next to a radiator make sure that this is not too hot as it will dry up the hair i normally would leave my hair to deep condition for at least 24 hours but if you're pressed for time i would advise you just leave it right next to the radiator for two hours okay this is what the hair looks like after 24 hours as you can see the conditioner is no longer white as it has melted into the hair 
Now, it's time to rinse out the conditioner from the hair. This is a very important part of this process because any residue from the conditioner that you didn't rinse out properly will weigh down the hair. And that's exactly the opposite of what we're trying to do today. Once you've rinsed out the conditioner properly, make sure that the last rinse is done with cold water as it helps to eliminate frizz whilst it's drying. Don't forget to rinse the cap inside the wig. This is very important. Once that is done, remember to tame the shape. Now, towel dry the hair nicely Grab the mannequin head that we started with, place the wig on it and gently comb the hair and leave it in a safe place to air dry. Allowing the hair to air dry prevents heat damage. Sometimes when the hair is too wet, I add argan oil onto it sometimes but with this time around i didn't add any product on the hair because i want the hair to be bone straight so i'm going to add argan oil whilst i'm straightening it hi guys so i just moved the hair from the mannequin to my head it's dry but it's not fully dry it's a bit damp so because it's a bit damp what i'm going to do is i'm going to I'm going to add some product which is this one the argan oil hair expertise just like two pumps one two but once that is done I'm going to blow dry it a little bit So now I've finished blow drying it, I'm going to add some heat protector to the hair and straighten it. Okay guys, I'm going to speed up this whole process because I have a very detailed tutorial on how to achieve a bone straight look. So make sure you check that out, I will leave the link below. So guys, this is the final look. This is the end of this tutorial. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.